is going on YouTube? This is your average sneakerhead coming back to you guys with yet another video. Again, I just wanted to thank anybody and everybody who liked, comment, or subscribed to the last few videos, who had anything positive to say, uh, who just, you know, took some time to provide some feedback on IG, and uh, who just continue to support. Uh, thank you. You guys know who you are, and for any future followers, uh, definitely hit that like. Uh, comment and subscribe and as well that bell so you can be notified when there's new content along the way uh, But let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if you guys saw my last uh, Pickup video or I should say my cop video of these Air Jordan 1 mids uh, it was Saturday uh, December 7th they released on the sneakers app 10 a.m. Uh, I did a whole release Saturday video So I'll make sure that's linked uh, in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and check that out um, these bad boys here uh, just came in today um, via FedEx. I made sure I was home, just make sure that you know nothing went wrong with the the shipping. I know you know people out here are stealing packages around the holidays, so definitely want to make sure my pair was secured. Uh, just to give a little background on this pair, these retailed for 130 via the sneakers app. I also believe they released on the Juice Store website the day before for a similar price. Um, I don't believe those pairs have shipped out yet. Um, for those of you who copped off Juice Store, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I made sure to get these with the two-day shipping so I can get this review out as soon as possible. Um, but overall, I must say I am pleased with these shoes. Um, these sneakers are definitely, uh, in my opinion, the best of the Fearless iteration uh, pack that was released. Um, obviously coming in a little bit over top of the Fearless uh, 1 patent leathers. Uh, I think those were definitely top notch as well. Um, I think for the 160, you, lot, you got a big bang for your buck. You got the, I believe, three or four laces, uh, the special red box here below. Um, but uh, overall, I'm definitely pleased with these. The quality, the craftsmanship, um, the time that obviously went into designing these. Um, Edison Chen, who uh, is the owner and I believe co-creator of the Clot brand, uh, went ahead and get, got these created. I believe they're very, very similar to his Air Force One iteration with Clot, um, with these um, silk, and I guess it's like a silk or like a nylon finish. Uh, wrapped around the shoe and then below it um, at least from the leaks that I've seen I believe there's like a gold um, leather that's under here I mean I'm not going to be the one to experiment with these uh, but for those who do get pairs who maybe have multiples you know be my guest get these you know rubbed down or, or cut off and, and design maybe into your own way um, but overall um, just from you know a quick recap on the shoe. I'm, I'm very impressed. I mean, I think you know the little details like the, uh, the I believe it's the Chinese token there lace lock that's right there on the forefront of the shoe I believe that says or if not says but means Jordan in uh, Chinese there. I think that was a nice touch um, the red sole i think that was you know a, a very great touch on these and you know that red sole just pops against that uh white bottom there um you got the like fading almost like fading or disappearing um jordan or excuse me the uh fading or disappearing nike swoosh there that's sort of reminiscent of like something being hidden below the shoe um you know, overall, for a Jordan 1 mid, uh, I think these are probably the best I've ever seen. Um, Jordan 1 mids are definitely making a huge comeback this year. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, they either do the, the, the OG highs or they do the lows. They don't really, you know, mess with the, with the mids. But I think, you know, being that this was paired up with that Fearless pack, like I mentioned before, I think these in and of themselves are just kind of you know they're selling themselves these are just a great pair um well crafted um great collab with you know like i said edison chat uh edison chen and overall i'm i'm extremely impressed um let's go ahead and just do a quick uh read of the box here we have the air jordan one mid se fearless gc so i'm assuming that uh, uh, that acronym breaks down the clot of some way there we have a retail price of 130 dollars and we have in my size 11 and a half color way is white black white um, I don't believe we get any other laces with these. Uh, I did go ahead and open the box a little bit early before I got this video in. 
Um, we do have the limits like fears are often illusions paper. You know, that's standard with this fearless pack. Um, it's been releasing for a while. Yeah, we do not have any other laces. I can definitely confirm that. You just get the standard black laces, Jordan 1 black laces, which, you know, in my opinion, for the 130 price is definitely fair. Um, it would have been nice maybe to see these with like a white pair of laces or even red. Um, just to, you know, kind of pop, make that nylon pop there. But, you know, for 130, what are you going to do? You can't really complain too, too much. I mean, a, a well, well crafted Jordan 1. Um, you know, you can't really you can't really squabble about that. I mean, I'm sure if you have an extra pair of laces laying around, you can get these, you know, laced up in whatever way you want and, and throw them on feet. Um, and then let's not forget the fearless hang tag here in gold. Limits like fears are often just an illusion. Michael Jordan, who said that, I believe, during his Hall of Fame speech um, when he was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Um, and then we obviously have the fear crossed out there on the uh, hang tag. And then you also, as standard, you get the fear card with, yet again, I believe for the third or fourth time I've said it, limits like fears are often just an illusion. Um, nice little touches, nice little subtle um, branding here on this shoe. Um, nothing too crazy, but I think it just, you know, in and of itself, just the collaboration, the, the design of the shoe, um, the details, little small touches in and throughout the shoe. I mean, these are quality. For $130, these are the best Jordan Mays you're going to get, hands down. Um, overall, I am definitely pleased with this pair. These will not be hitting feet. These will be uh, hopefully put up for a while, um, you know, maybe resold. I'm not 100% sure where I stand, at least with, you know, wanting to hang on to these or capitalize on, on some of that resale value to put toward maybe some other pairs that are coming out um, <clears throat> and, and bread 11s. Um, but, you know, again, I mean, I, I'm definitely pleased with the, the Sneakers W that I caught on these. Um, definitely talked to some people I know. They had a, a very um, challenging time picking these up. Um, you know, definitely a hard cop, definitely a, a limited release. Um, so I'm definitely appreciative for that. Um, but anyway, I uh, just want to make a quick recap and a quick review and unboxing of these shoes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do have any uh, comments, feedback, you know, be sure to leave those down below in the comments section. And I hope to uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care.